Good morning, guys. Welcome to the part two of our daily stock market insights. And uh, thank you for those people who have dropped a comment to uh, share the requested stocks. Uh, this video is for you guys. And thank you for always supporting our channel, watching our videos, and liking our videos. Uh, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing in our channel. The uh, community is starting to grow. And um, people here are very friendly, so let's continue the same um, culture, guys. All right? Uh, this really inspires me to be more consistent at what we do. Thank you very much. And if this is your first time to watch our video, uh, I'm also inviting you to hit the subscribe and um, click the notification bell so each time we have new videos, you're updated. In the meantime, as what you have seen on the title, it's like a paradigm shift okay so earlier in my thumbnail i said uh, psei is down what should we do now why not shift our outlook and just look at it as it's a profit taking day okay which is just normal because a lot of you guys have already been um, profitable and i bet you guys have already locked in some profit that's why you guys influenced the movement in <laughs> the market right now. No, just kidding. Um, yes, so we reached a, a resistance area. We were at a resistance area and uh, the market knows that. So it is retracing. People are taking profit. That's why the direction is heading down. Okay, try to look at this. Okay, on the right side, you see here the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. On the left side is the S&P 500. So it looks like both markets are heading the same direction. We are experiencing correction or a decline. Because imagine this, for uh, since March, in the middle of the pandemic, people... Um, you know, the market is, was reacting uh, weirdly, okay? While everyone is down, uh, a lot of people lost their jobs, businesses, uh, revenue got compromised, and yet the market has been moving higher and higher. So, yeah, after how many months, I think many people have been profitable, institutions have been profitable, and so they're taking profit. All right, so let me go ahead and just, this is just a representation that um, it's happening not just here in the country, but also in the U.S. stocks. Uh, my, I have some positions in my uh, international trades that are also uh, not looking good, but we're just, you know, calm. We manage our risk. In the meantime, let's go and uh, discuss your uh, stocks here. I've uh, gathered a few more. Actually, I only have 1, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 left. Okay. So if um, you still have a few more requests, maybe uh, just drop a comment still because I will be prioritizing them in my review tomorrow. All right. Now, let me take a look at M wide. Low chart, this one, this is our chart, okay, so M-wide, M-wide here, again, um, people are just very conservative with their game, uh, with a slight increase in the price, they're taking profit, and uh, yep, I forgot what I said the other day. I know I'm always conservative. Whenever there's a big jump in the price, I still look at the nearest possible support. And uh, this is a haggle, right? So I feel that it will still continue to drop around 6.70 area. That's why we saw this in this one too. And I think I also cited that in my video yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. 
so just continue waiting for that. Just wait for that perfect timing. Okay. I feel that it will still give us a chance around 6.70. Overall, you are, look at that, very, very cheap level. So it's somehow a, a good coincidence, right? If you don't have a buying power yet, I feel like, you know, in the coming days, in time for a payday, we should be able to gather more funds and we will be able to enter it with uh, entry here at timing. Uh, because this is the support that we see at the moment. What about HLCM? HLCM as well looks like it is going to revisit our previous support and most likely will, uh, you know, create sideways first before it takes off. Uh, overall, we're, we're still here very near the oversold area. And uh, I just feel that it will, you know, there's not much volume. And uh, you know what's interesting here? So many people already have entered their position here, which is very, very near the area. And look at the, uh, the volume of uh, the trades today. Many of them are still holding onto their position. Imagine this. So this is just like... Uh, 40 or 35 percent so let's say there are 100 people who uh, traded the stock yesterday only 35 of them uh, took profit and the rest are just staying in there so that means this is still going to look uh, attractive at the moment 6.31 is our support area just be extra careful though I'm not I did not read the news so uh, make sure to always read the news because I think so far known I did not see any negative news uh, around HLCM just uh, market sentiment okay double dragon <clears throat> double dragon is just hanging in there this is a short-term resistance that we have uh, currently, it's uh, having a difficult time breaking that because at one point we already started moving below the MA20 line as you can see here, right? And then um, when we touch this level, it's not really breaking it because I will not be surprised because look at your volume, very small. So it It's having a difficult time breaking that. Okay, you know one thing I, I don't like here is that this could be a sign of weakness as well, because look at this when we dropped, okay, when we dropped and then we uh, bounced again. It's now a lower high. And with the doji that was formed today, I have a feeling that it will go down some more. So let me just plot this area as the next possible drop here 16.67 i feel that it might it might uh break down in price again and uh revisit 16.67 green okay also a sign of weakness people are taking profit okay um so that's your resistance area. People took profit, definitely, because it's already an overbought level right here. See that? It's starting to become expensive. Also, this is uh, going downwards. Okay, while the price was moving up, the uh, momentum is starting to decline. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to uh, do an Elliott wave there, but I'm not a, an expert of that yet. Okay, so just be extra careful. I see a, a retracement bound to happen at this point, so just be extra careful there. Okay, um, next possible drop would be a 1.58 area. There you have it. Okay, look at that, that's already overbought. So 1.59 guys, 
if you have buying power right now, just uh, hold on to it first. Don't rush. FLI. What about FLI? So FLI is still uh, sitting at a support level, which was your resistance previously. Look at that. This area. Maybe let's change this to yellow. Okay. This used to be a resistance. And then for how many days now, each time that level gets hit, there's a slight bounce that's happening. Um, but it's not taking off yet. 0.99 is still our support. Next would be Annie. Annie is... This could be a good sign. We're starting to trigger the upper Bollinger Band and some people just took profit as what I have mentioned. Uh, that's why there's a slight retracement there. Um, I feel that it will... Um, two things. It, either, it will either consolidate here first before it goes up or there could be a bounce right away tomorrow, 7.61. Uh, in the meantime, I'm plotting that area as our support uh, that used to be your resistance right here. I feel that it will just, uh, you know, it depends on the volume. So it might just stabilize here first before it goes up again. Look at that. How much was it before? 16? 100%. Wow. What about EEI? EEI as well. Look at this. Still at the uh, MA20 line. Still respecting that uh, support level at around 5.03. Uh, so it's still respecting that. I feel that it will just go sideways still at Look at the body of this candlestick. It's so small already, so not much of a movement. I think one of these days it'll take off. And look at that. Look at your Bollinger Band here. This MA20 line is now pointing upward, so maybe it's going to, to uh, recover really soon. Could be tomorrow. You can never tell, but for now it's uh, really um, sitting at the uh, support area. URC. You want to see over here, okay, guys, we broke the MA20, okay? And then when we did that bounce, look at that bounce, very tiny bounce right there. It's a lower high, so it might continue to drop and uh, go back to 120. That's the nearest support that I see, or 119.49, that's the nearest support that I see. So uh, I feel that you would be able to uh, get this again at a lower price. Overall, still not uh, overbought, but in the line of 40s. So just hang in there, okay? This will still go back to a cheaper uh, level. East-West. East-West over here, okay. I don't like what I am seeing right now. Um, although we're still at the uh, support area, but look at the... Uh, heavy red okay it just went all the way landslide down uh, not even a wick was formed no signs of a slight bounce there so there could be some more negative sentiment or bearish sentiment for this stock and might even drop up to the 7.03 level um yeah most of the banks right now have uh, retraced so guys, they, uh, take note of that 7 peso area. Let me just go back to BPI. Yeah, there you have it. BDO. Same. Set B. Same. Union Bank. Flatlining. RLC. Uh, RCBC. RCB. Still the same. So it looks like banks right now are uh, declining. And you are resting for a while. MPI. MPI as well. People just took profit, guys. Look at this. Imagine how far they've uh, reached. That was a good 
50% increase. Just makes sense, you know. Um, and they're just being, you're just playing safe right now, especially because uh, the situation is not that stable yet because of the pandemic. So um, little, you know, small gain. It's still a gain, so uh, they're just uh, securing their, their profit there. So I'm thinking it will uh, go back to this area, 3.39 first. Uh, probably if you are, you know, change your perspective so that you don't really feel bad. Uh, the, the market is just giving us, again, a chance to uh, go back to a cheaper level so that you can buy some more. Okay. But I think... Um, this is the period of the investors overall. Okay, so these fluctuations really are, are just somewhat noise to them because their outlook is uh, longer. They want to get in because they want to stay there for 10 years and beyond. Okay, and the last stock that you guys have requested tonight, which I was able to take note of, uh, is C. C is currently at your support area, so just be um, uh, observant with how the, the, this stock is going to perform tomorrow. If it starts from 363 and most of the action pushes the price, price higher, then that means you have a successful balance at a support area. This is a support area because previously there was your there was a resistance built in that level, uh, I mean formed, and uh, we went beyond that, and so we're also at the an MA20 level, so that now becomes your support. All right there, you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching our video. If you have not subscribed yet, don't be shy. Click the subscribe and the notification bell, and also hit the like if you find value in what we're uh, sharing tonight. In the meantime, thank you and good night, everyone. Bye-bye.